Okay, the last thing I want to talk to you about in regards to drugs, and this will be the last topic, is smart drugs. So this is something that is heavily abused in the entrepreneurial space, guys who are on shit tons of Adderall, modafinil, a bunch of different medications, supplements, etc. What has your experience been like, if any, with smart drugs, nootropics, stuff like that? This is not medical, legal, or any other type of advice. This video is made for entertainment purposes only. Visit pandastrength.com. Hey, bros. This is Muscle Panda. I'm going to be talking about the Alex Hermonzi guy. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm going to start off real fast. He convinced me to try nicotine gum. As you can see, there's a couple out of the pack that are missing. And basically, as you probably have seen, he uses nicotine gum as his main nootropic. He doesn't take any of the other nootropics and uh, doesn't really do anything but caffeine when it comes to stimulants, a lot of nicotine. So I've been very interested in nootropics. I've tried nootropics. Uh, I've only really tried one or two. And the biggest problem with nootropics, and for me, is they last too long. It's like five hours, and if you accidentally took too much, you gotta ride it out. And like, you basically just have a panic attack if you accidentally take too much. And so, nicotine is seen to only last about like one or two hours, give or take, so I was like, I'll try this. So, these are four milligram pieces of gum, and I tried one piece to do like a, like a work session. After about 10 minutes, it peaked. And I was like at peak efficiency. But the gum loses its flavor really fast and it tastes like dog shit. So I would not really recommend it from like a taste perspective. This is not like regular gum. Maybe do half nicotine gum, half regular gum, whatever. But... And then I had to stop chewing. So like I would take it out, put it back in, take it out, put it back in over the course of like the next hour or so. Because I was doing work, like you couldn't really concentrate on chewing. He said he would keep it in his cheek. I was like, eh, I'm not gonna do that. So it did help my overall productivity, but I don't believe it helped like super significantly. I could have still done all that work without the help of the nicotine gum. But it certainly helped like in that first 30 minutes to like get in the zone because it gave me a certain type of like tunnel vision. Problem was even after the two hours and like the peak wore off, the residual effects of the nicotine lasted for quite a while. Now this is from someone that used to smoke Newports and used to vape a lot. So for it to last that long, it was kind of a pain. And like, then I got a headache from the nicotine. I was like, yeah, this sucks. And then I was like, uh, you know what else is a stimulant? Most pre-workouts are stimulants. Nicotine is a stimulant. I'm going to try the nicotine as a pre-workout. So I took the four milligram gum. I cut it up into fourths because four milligrams is way too much for me. And I took one milligram like 10 minutes before my workout because I know it would peak about 10 minutes after chewing. So I chewed it for 10 minutes, it peaked, I threw out the gum, and it didn't really help with my workout at all. It just accelerated my heart rate to like an uncomfortable level. I could hear, ba 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 And that was not a good experience. So I would have to say, as a nootropic, nicotine has potential. Um, if you're super sensitive, start with a low dosage, like really low. Um, or just start with that anyway, don't do it, I don't know. Talk to your doctor. Nicotine does not cause cancer. It does have certain addiction qualities. Uh, what actually causes cancer, like in cigarettes, is like all the tar and shit in the cigarettes. Um, so the nicotine gum is considered safe by medical professionals. These people have been using this stuff for years with no adverse effects. But I would definitely say, like, for pre-workout, it's a no-go. For nootropic purposes, it's like a maybe. Um, I like the fact that it wore off significantly faster than other nootropics I've tried. Um, because, like, let's face it, like, I'm not going to do, like, a five-hour study session. So I don't need something that lasts five hours. The gum was really good that it only lasted, like, literally, like, I was at peak performance like by 10 minutes in and I was maintained peak performance 
from 10 minutes to like 60 minutes. And at the 60 minute mark, it started to taper off. And then about the two hour mark, it was pretty much non-existent. But you could, I could still feel like the lingering effects. Like my heart rate was still a little faster and I had like an overall sense of anxiety. So if you have any sort of anxiety problems, don't try any new traffics because it will make it worse. Take it from my point of view. I've tried a handful of them. It just doesn't work out well. That's all I got. Talk to your doctor before doing anything. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment below, do your thing. I'll see you next time.